WebRTC and SIP are distinct but interconnected technologies that facilitate real-time communications over the web. Both tools play a critical role in allowing web pages and applications to communicate via video, audio, and other forms of data. In this video, we'll cover WebRTC and SIP in detail, discussing how each technology works, how they're different, pros and cons of each, and when to use them. Let's get right to it. WebRTC, also known as Web Real-Time Communications, is a framework of APIs that enables peer-to-peer -peer connections between web pages so that users can send media in real time, such as voice, video, text, files, and other data types. Developers utilize WebRTC APIs to build powerful software solutions, mobile applications, and web pages with embedded video, audio, and data sharing. When a user initiates a call on a WebRTC-enabled web page, the APIs handle the full interaction. They establish the connection, identify each user's IP address, determine the types of data that will be sent, negotiate the code act, and enable the ongoing data transfer between endpoints. Once this occurs, each user can share media and data directly with all other users who are on the call. SIP, or Session Initiation Protocol, is a signaling protocol that establishes and terminates real-time communication between multiple users via audio, video, and other types of data like text or file sharing. A protocol is essentially a set of rules that function on top of larger APIs, and SIP is the standard protocol for voice over IP, or VoIP, phone calls. A device, application, or web page can use SIP to establish a connection with a VoIP server, which then uses SIP to connect with another user, thus facilitating back and forth flow of data. The SIP protocol works by outlining rules that computing devices follow so that they can establish a connection and parameters for data exchange through a SIP server. Put simply, SIP establishes sessions for real-time communication over the web, WebRTC. Keep in mind that this is just one step of the larger WebRTC process. The difference between WebRTC and SIP is that WebRTC is a collection of APIs that handles the entire multimedia communication process between devices, while SIP is a signaling protocol that focuses on establishing, negotiating, and terminating the data exchange. Protocols are just one specific part of an API, so SIP is just one potential subroutine that WebRTC can utilize. While both technologies outline steps for real-time communication via video, audio, and other data, WebRTC is broader because its APIs provide a framework for setup, signaling, exchange, and ongoing peer-to-peer, -peer, or P2P, data sharing between web pages or apps. The SIP protocol is specific to signaling, so it offers one potential method of establishing, negotiating, and terminating a media stream between users. Since SIP is the standard protocol for VoIP technology, WebRTC frequently utilizes SIP to signal or establish a connection between devices, apps, or web pages. Once this connection is established, WebRTC can retrieve and share the voice, video, chat, or data between the clients involved, relying on other protocols and tools to do so. Here we've outlined the pros and cons of WebRTC and SIP. Keep in mind that we have a more detailed outline in our article linked in the description box of this video. And here, we've outlined various scenarios in which to use WebRTC or SIP. Again, more details in our linked article. Keep in mind that WebRTC uses SIP, so the two technologies work together in many situations. If you found this video informative, give it a like, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell below to keep up with our journey to simplify the VoIP world. Till next time, this is Nate from GetVoIP.